Hello stampers! Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. I hope that you guys have had a great couple of weeks. I have missed you terribly. <laughs> I see people popping in here now. I'm gonna get my computer set up so that I can see your comments a little bit better. Hi Cindy, Heather, Tisha, Wendy Sue, Janine, Robin, holy cow, everybody's piling in. Susan, Carrie, Suzette, Kathy, welcome. How has everybody been? I can tell you, I have had a whirlwind couple of weeks. It's been pretty crazy here. I was so hoping to be able to do a Facebook Live last Sunday. I completely planned on getting home on time. But when we got, I went to, I was in Iowa last weekend and we had, um, I was a guest presenter at a retreat down there. And when we got done with the whole weekend, it was a Friday night, Saturday, Sunday retreat. So it was a whole bunch of fun. It was a whole bunch of work. And um, when we got done with that, we decided to go out for lunch. Yeah. And that took a lot longer than I anticipated. Hi, Brooke. Hi, Lisa. Jackie. Rose. Welcome. Leanna. So um, I was about a half an hour. I was I arrived home about an hour later than I had planned on. And then, you know, I was I had been driving all afternoon and ugh, I just needed I just needed a week off, I guess. That was my my um, what do you call it? The stars telling me take the night off. So I did. And I miss you guys terribly. I like go through withdrawal. It's like, oh my gosh. And you know what the sweetest, sweetest thing was is um, I did post a message saying, hey, you guys, I'm not going to be home in time. I'm going to need to reschedule for tonight. Um, and I was hoping to reschedule to like Wednesday or Thursday, but things didn't let up for me this week. And, and I'll <laughs> tell you a little bit about that. But um so I wasn't able to reschedule. And the sweetest thing is several of you contacted me privately and said, I hope everything's okay. Like, I'm worried about you. And that just touches my heart. Thank you so much. Um, I was fine. I was just crazy. I had two kit classes go out um, this last week. And I'm still trying to get a handle on those because I didn't expect them to be the big sensation that they are. So for those of you that are ordering my kit classes and my pre-cut cardstock packs, thank you so much. Like it, this is bigger than I have ever imagined it would be. Um, funny little story. When I did my first one in September, I thought, you know, I should make up about 20 of these. See if I can see if I'll sell those. And um, I think I told you guys the story. Within a week, I shut the ordering button off because I got 80 orders and it scared me to death. That is a lot of work. Um, work that I love, don't get me wrong, but um, I'm still trying to get a handle on this and organizing it <clears throat> in a way that is most productive for my time. So um, bear with me there. I'm still learning. All the kits have been going out. Um, as promised, my last Brightly Gleaming kit is going out tomorrow morning. I will share some pictures with you of the crazy, crazy that goes into putting these kits together. I actually had three helpers. So <laughs> let me back up a little bit. So when I got home from Iowa, I had several things that I needed to do on my blog. I had several um, groups that I'm in where I had projects due. So I got all of that done. And then I had a stamp camp Friday night and Saturday morning. <laughs> and um, big shout out to Kathy Miller. She is my partner in these stamping events and she did all of it. She did all of it. I provided her with a couple ideas like here's a box that I made. Let's redo it with the Christmas paper. Here's um, a little thing that I made. Here's a little four set of cards and box that I made. Let's redo it with this Christmas paper. She took the whole thing and she did for 43, no, 45 people, the entire stamp camp. All I did was go buy some food and um, she sent me a list of double supplies we needed and I put that together and I headed over to the event. So the stamp camp wouldn't even have happened without her. And the reason why I couldn't do anything is because I was trying to get this brightly glistening card kit out. Um, everything cut and sorted and all of that. So then we had 
Saturday night or Friday and Saturday, Friday night, Saturday, we had stamp camp. We got that all done and then Kathy came to my house. My assistant Brooke came over and my mom was in town. So she came over and the four of us got everything sorted, packed, packaged up, shipping labels on it and it's all ready to go to the post office and it was quite a production. I have photos so I can share them with you. Um, maybe not tonight, but sometime this week I will share them with you because tonight I'm going to be sharing some other photos with you. So over and above that weekend craziness, my daughter had, my daughter and her husband, this is Haley that just got married um, at the very beginning of August. Her and her husband had a gender reveal party because they're expecting a baby. In case you missed that news, I know I blabbed it all over the place. We're so excited. Um, so they had a gender reveal party today and thank the Lord again that um, Haley's mother-in-law, Jared's mom, I messaged her and it was like late in the week. I'm like, what can I do to help with the gender reveal party? She goes, just pick up a fruit tray. That'll be great. And I'm like, God bless you because I am drowning here. So um, <clears throat> we went to the gender reveal party and I was on team girl. So they had pink necklaces and blue necklaces in a cup and it said to pick whichever one you thought they were going to have. So I was on Teen Girl and I went and got them a gift. Well, I actually ordered a gift from Amazon, but it didn't arrive. So then I had to go shopping for that same gift. We went and got them a gift and then I bought baby girl clothes and baby boy clothes and I had them wrapped in tissue paper and then I thought once they announce what the baby's going to be, then I will put that, whatever, you know, the girl or the boy clothes in the bag and give it to them. And that's what I did. So we had a wonderful brunch. Oh my gosh. There was like eight different dishes of brunch stuff. And oh my Lord, I ate too much again. <laughs> but it was so good. Everything was just delicious. And then um, we went outside it, oh, we took pictures first. Team girl, all Haley made up a thing on the wall with Christmas lights under, a white draped cloth, and all the balloons at the top. And it had a, it's a girl, it's a boy, and um, it was so 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 cute. And so they took pictures in front of it. We all had our girl necklaces or boy necklaces on, whichever team we were on. They just made a whole thing out of it, and I have the cutest pictures to share with you guys. Um, and they're going to post about 8.30 tonight on this same page. So make sure you watch for that. But then we went outside and they had one of those cannons. So it's like a fireworks thing and you twist the bottom of it and the confetti flies out of it. And it's either going to be pink confetti or blue confetti. She had the envelope from the doctor's office telling whether it was a boy or a girl. She gave that envelope, Haley did, to her maid of honor and best friend Nina. And Nina took it and kept it so nobody would peek. And then on these cannons, there's a pink dot on the top or a blue dot on the top. So Nina took their four cannons in a package. Nina took the cannons and peeled the um, little sticker off the top telling whether it was a boy or girl and gave it to Haley and Jared. And we all went outside and they blew up that cannon and it's a girl! <laughs> I'm so excited. I would have been excited, boy or girl. I found the cutest boy clothes. Cutest boy clothes. And somebody messaged me and said, get to the stores right now. Because all of their summer stuff is on clearance. And Haley's Baby's due in April. The, the end of April. So you'll be able to get lots of stuff on clearance right now from summer for an April baby. And so I did that. And I had like four outfits of boy stuff that were like $6, $7. They were so adorable and so inexpensive. And then um, there weren't many things for girls. I think the girl stuff had been cleared out. So I bought a whole bunch of girl clothes and a whole bunch of boy clothes. And then as soon as they announced it, I went out to my car and put that package in my gift bag and took it in the house. They got a couple gifts. You're not supposed to bring gifts to a gender reveal party, but the moms did. Lori and I both had gifts for them. And then I got her a baby food processor. So um, I would really, really love to see Haley make her own baby food. I did that for her when she was a baby. It's super easy with the food processor and I just don't know what's in that crap. Can I say that? I don't know what's in those jars. I don't like all those preservatives. I don't think we should be eating all that junk and I'm not like a health nut. You guys know that. 
but for babies I just have a different feeling about that so anyways I'm hoping she'll make her own baby food and if she doesn't I will <laughs> I'll be bringing food over every week a whole storage of food so we're so excited it was such a beautiful day and we had so much fun and like I said Lori did the most amazing job with it and then I came home and crashed. My mom left and I went in the living room and slept for at least two hours. And so did anybody else do this today? Crazy, crazy. I woke up and none of my clocks are changed, right? I did set an alarm so I wouldn't sleep too long. But I woke up and I'm like, oh my gosh, I only have 30 minutes till Facebook Live and I'm totally not ready. Like I had projects made, but I didn't have all the stuff in the bins to make it quick and fast because I know you guys, I mean, I like to go boom, boom, boom. So you're not sitting there like eh, falling asleep. But um, I got up and I was scrambling around and I'm like, how am I going to do this? Da, da, da. And then I looked at my computer time and it was an hour. I had an extra hour. <laughs> so uh, I was that crazy person today. Yeah. So we're having a girl and I'm super excited. I'm so happy to see all of you guys here. Thank you so much. Um, Linda is asking, what was the name of the kitty I shared on my story earlier on Facebook today? Kyle. That's Kyle. He took a nap with me and um, he's named for the character on South Park. He was Haley's cat when she lived here, when she still lived at home. And um, so, yeah, that's Kyle. And then we have a black cat named Snooky, and she's named for, you know, Snooky from... Um, what was that? Um, East Coast. Uh, what's the name of that show? Snooky was on the. Sh it's a reality show. Um, East Coast. I'll think about it. Uh, Jersey Shore. There you go. Jersey Shore. So we have Snooky from Jersey Shore. Kyle from South Park. Yeah. <laughs> Kyle's my favorite. So he took a nap with me today. He was a wonderful partner. He kept me warm. I love that. Um, yeah. So don't forget to change your clocks. And this is actually the changing time of the year that I love because I get to sleep an hour longer. But now that I'm self-employed and don't have to get up and go out to a job, it doesn't matter. My husband, it's a running joke in our family. So, um, And then Steve left for Nebraska. So he's gone till next weekend. He's out bow hunting and he got a huge buck last night, first day of the hunt. <laughs> he did that, I don't know if it was last year or the year before too. First day of the hunt, bam. So... Um, he sent us a picture of this giant buck and his caption under it was game over. So that's really exciting. I'm happy for him. He works He works pretty hard for that. Oh yeah, Haley's on here. Haley, I just told the whole story. I hope you didn't miss it. <laughs> I'm sharing pictures later tonight. So um, anyways, he's gone. Where was I? I lose my train of thought so easily. Um, I don't remember what I was talking about. I'm so excited about the whole baby news. But yeah, so Steve is gone hunting. So I'm home all alone. And I'm hoping, I have to look at my schedule. Um, I'm hoping to go up north later this week hunting because I still haven't been in a tree. And now I remember where I was. Don't forget to change your clocks back. This is my favorite time of year. And it used to be that running joke between me and Steve. Steve would go, yeah, it's time to change your clocks back. And then he'd go, I know you hate this one. Um, and it's not this one. It's the one in the spring I hate because I have to get up earlier. And I don't like to get up early. So, yeah. Um, this is the one I love. But it doesn't matter because I'm self-employed and I wake up when I wake up. But I have to tell you guys, I pulled three 18-hour days this week. And that's when I'm like, I need to get things figured out because I can't keep doing that. And so today was the first day I got a good nap. And I'm feeling refreshed and full of energy and spunk and woohoo. Um, oh, Haley has professional photos too that she'll post. Um, I posted, I'm going to be posting, I have it all scheduled to post to 8.30 tonight, all the pictures from the baby announcement. So, so excited. Okay, let's talk about stamping, you guys. I have so many things to show you. I think I'm going to wait until the end to show you all the cards that I got in the mail. I still have a little bit of a pile here that I haven't opened yet. Um, our stamp camp this weekend was fabulous. And I have to show you a gift that I got. This is from Connie. And I think her last name is Piasecki, maybe. She came down from Marquette to come to my stamp camp, which is way, way, way up north. Um, here is the beautiful card that she made for me. Isn't that cool? And let me get this little note out of here. But she left it blank so I could use it. Yay, I love that. 
and um, she just said thank you so much for getting me into this Christmas stamp camp you are such a wonderful teacher and I love your Facebook lives on Sunday night thanks for all the inspiration you give to so many and all the layers laughs you bring along the way I appreciate all you do and how sweet is that and she brought me this kind people are my favorite are are my kind of people and it's filled with all these goodies Bev is on here she's my Optavia coach Bev don't look this is looking like some pretty good chocolate. <laughs> so thank you so much, Connie. That was just the sweetest. And then, what else? Oh, I have to tell you the little story. So Haley and Jared came over and um, told, or they said they had wedding pictures to share. So I'm going to share these wedding pictures with you guys. So they give us this envelope. And so Steve and I are in the kitchen and we're looking at the beautiful pictures. Oh, and we're like, oh, this is pretty. Look how nice that is. Oh, I love this one. I love the black and white. We're just going on and on and on. Whoops. Oh, that's a cool picture. Oh, and then, he, oh, here's the family. That's Jared's parents and me and Steve with Haley and Jared. Oh, look how nice that is. And here's a picture of Haley and her dad walking her down the aisle. Oh, isn't that nice? Oh, look at that one. I love that one. We were still in our robes. So cool. Here's the whole family. I didn't even remember taking this photograph. So we've got um, Stephen and his wife and baby, Anna, her two girls, and Scott, Haley and Jared, of course. And then here is Stephanie and, whoops, this is hard. It's backwards. Her two boys and me and Steve on the end. So I'm like, oh, I don't even remember taking that. And we're just blah, 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 blah. I, well, I am, you know, blah, blah, blah. And then here's the last photo. And you know what my reaction was? Shut the front door! <laughs> so that's the picture I posted for you guys on Facebook. So that's how they announced the baby is coming. And yeah, can you tell I'm a little excited? I know. <laughs> it was so cool. So very cool. So I've been carrying these in my purse too so I can show everybody. <laughs> yeah, proud mom. Um, we have prizes to give away tonight. Um, I have three winners and the first one is going to get the basic pattern decorative masks. This is for leaving a comment. So please make sure if you're on here, leave at least one comment so that you get entered into the drawings to win things. These are the, did I say that already? Ba basic pattern decorative masks. These are going to Kay Rogers of Clarkson, Michigan. Kay, thank you so much for your comment. You are the big winner. And then for sharing the video, so don't forget to do that. You can do that right now. Share, share, share. Uh, we've got Hammered Metal 3D Embossing Folder. This has become one of my favorite folders. The winner for sharing last time is Patty Homesack, otherwise known as Marilyn Homesack. And she is from Purvis, Mississippi. So thank you so much for all the shares, you guys. I really appreciate it. And then I just happened to have an extra one of these stamp sets. This is part of a big suite. And so I thought I would give this um, as a gift. Stampin' Up! actually gave it to us on the Greek cruise. So this stamp set has been to Greece. And it's called Most Wonderful Time. Yeah, so you can say, oh, this stamp set has been to Greece. <laughs> And this is for ordering. So um, when you place an order through me, I do also enter you into a drawing. And Cindy Sessions of Fishers, Indiana is the big winner of this most wonderful time stamp set. So thank you guys so much. I so appreciate your continued support of my small business. Like, makes my heart swell. All right, what else is happening? Um, I got to meet one of my team members this this past weekend that I had, hadn't met before, Anne D'Aquisto. She came to our stamp camp. She joined my team a while back and it was so, it's just so nice to be able to meet people in person, right? I have a lot of people that join my team that I've never met. So, um, because they do it online and, um, I take really good care of my team members, whether you want to be a discount shopper. And if you're ordering from Stampin' Up, you should definitely be getting a discount. Join my team get a discount and then you get me and I'm a lot I know <laughs> like sometimes I'm a little too much but um I think you'll really like it it's wonderful to be part of something so much bigger than just you at home in your little stamp area or your big stamp area whatever it may be um you get to be part of, of so, such a much bigger 
um, community by joining a team. And you don't have to ever do what I'm doing right now. You don't ever have to sell a thing. You can if you want. But um, getting a discount on your products and being part of my team is really fun. So I have um, a, a little tidbit. So a long time ago, when you first signed up, when you would sign up, or create an online account with Stampin' Up, you had the opportunity to choose yes or no, did you wanna get notifications? A lot of people misunderstood that and said no, they because they didn't want a whole bunch of emails coming in, blah, 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 right? And I totally get that. But when you said no, you changed your account to a no contact at all. So I have gotten two orders in the last, um, the first one was on October 24th for $143.34. The next one was on November 11th for $200.13. If these are your orders, please contact me. My email address is kelly at a stamp above.com because you are listed as a no contact, which means I can't know who you are and I can't thank you. I give a gift for every order that I receive. And I have some um, exclusive tutorials that I will email you. And Kyle, no, there's Kyle. He, I just let him in the house, he wants to go back out, no. Um, so anyways, I give you a gift. So if you ever don't hear from me when you have ordered from me, contact me and say, did you get my order or whatever. I, the email comes in once in a while, I will miss it. But I have two no contact orders. $200.13, $143.34. And I'm saying that so you can identify yourself and let me know who you are and we will get that no contact thing changed. So I had Arsenia Wolf. Um, she had a no contact on her account a few weeks ago and it took a little bit, but we got it all straightened out. So now I see her name coming in when she's placing orders. Um, the other thing that I wanted to announce, I have someone who contacted me and said that they did not get their Come Together pre-cut cardstock pack. And um, the, tracking, the tracking number says it was delivered, but she never got it. So she went to the post office and the mailman told her she was not the only one in their area that had um, gotten, uh, that was missing packages. So apparently there's a little problem there. But if you are watching me tonight, can you please email me because I think you messaged me on Facebook and I can't find that message again. If you have something important like this, please, please, please always message me in an email because then I have record of it. I put a star by it. I know that I have to go down, back and do something. So my email address again is kelly at a stamp above .com. If you could please contact me. I will continue to search for that message, but if you can, if you see this, let me know it was you because I need to get this straightened out. Okay, I think we might be ready to stamp. I'm gonna save all the cards to share with you. I have stuff to share with you from my stamp camp. I have um, cards that I made in the, since I've seen you last on Facebook Live, and also cards that I received in the mail that I'll be sharing with you, and I'm gonna do that at the end so we can start stamping. Okay, let me put these in a safe place so I do not lose them. Oh, I have to show you this. This is so cute, and there's no name on it. I can't remember who gave it to me, but somebody at the retreat gave this to me, and isn't that the cutest little candy holder ever? Yeah, it's got those cute little spiders on it. Hee <laughs> hee. Love them. I love Halloween stuff. I hope you guys had a good Halloween. We had a fair amount of trick-or-treaters here, and we got snow, and it was freezing cold here in Wisconsin. It was a horrible trick-or-treat. All right, I think I am going to get this out First, why is this box in here? I don't even know. Okay, um, I am going to be sharing with you some projects using the Christmas or Christmas time is here suite. This is a brand new product available from Stampin' Up, and it's only available while supplies last. So I'm going to try and bring up the flyer because I was going to print that out and then I forgot. So I'll be doing that as I'm unloading here. One thing I did want to show you is this suite has something really cool in it that's a little unusual. Let me get this bin emptied out here. Set that right back there. We are also offering, oh, I know why I kept the box. Yeah. Charming Rose Bracelet. And it comes in this beautiful little box. This makes a gorgeous gift for yourself if you want it to be. But this bracelet, let me show this to you 
has the Stampin' Up! logo on it. And then also this gorgeous rose is, in, well, I want to say embossed, but I don't know what you call that, engraved, uh, whatever. It sticks up. But this is the gorgeous bracelet that comes in the Charming Rose bracelet. And I'm happy to announce that this suite is available. It's You don't have to get the whole thing if you don't want to. I am going to be having an online class on this, and I'm just going to print it out really quick so I can show you. I am going to be having an online class with this suite of products. So, and of course, you know, when you buy the suite from me, you get, here it comes, you get um, the online class for free and a pre-cut cardstock pack with all the layers to make the cards. Now, I want to tell you, this comes with beautiful, beautiful designer series paper, which I'll show you in a minute. The only thing included in the pre-cut cardstock pack is all the cardstock, not the ribbon. So you're going to, you're going to want the sweet, not the ribbon, not the embellishments, but all the cardstock and you cut your own designer series paper. So I just don't want anybody to think that they're getting something that they're, you know, isn't included. Oh, great. I'm out of ink, you guys. That's wonderful. So I'll have to show that I'll, I'll load the flyer when we're done. Um, yeah, it's printing out the other one and I'm out of ink. I had to make a ton of um, mailing labels for my brightly gleaming kit class. So isn't it pretty, Sharon? It's just so pretty. I love it. And these are very trendy right now, these bracelets. I have three of them now, I think, and I love all of them. Haley gave me one as a gift for, um, I don't know, being her mother <laughs> at her wedding. So that was really cool. But yeah, I really like these. They're, they're delicate and they don't get in your way and I love them. Okay, I am going to turn my camera around here and we're gonna get to stamping. Where's all my light? Here we go. Okay, if you get motion sickness, please close your eyes. I don't want anybody throwing up. There's no throwing up allowed in stamping. And I will tell you when it's good to open your eyes. Not yet, I'm not ready yet. Uh-oh, hang on. Facebook just had a little glitchy doodle. It's not letting me turn my phone. There we go. Okay, we don't want any problems here tonight, right? Let me get this out of the way and make sure that I'm straight here. I hate it when my camera is not straight. And I have to unmirror it. So give me just a second. And we're good. You can open your eyes. I think we're ready. I am plugged in. For those of you that always like to um, remind me, I'm plugged in. But I'm a little tangled up right at the moment. So hang on. Let me get my car my cords out of my tangled mess. There we go. Okay. Is everybody still here? Whew. Okay. I'm going to move this down a little bit too. So we're just a little bit closer to the table. I know you guys like that. Now, um, speaking of that, I want to tell you that you can always, always go to my blog the day after I have done a Facebook Live and see still photos with dimensions and all the details. There's a shopping list there if you want to buy anything. Um, you can always go to my blog, and that address is right here where you can see still photos of this stuff. Now, sometimes your internet streaming might not be good that night, and then it's hard to see what I'm making, right? But you can see how to do it, and then when I upload it to YouTube, the video is also on that post. So it works out pretty good. Let me get back to my, there we go. Okay, so this is the stamp set that I am going to be using. And this Christmas rose, these are photopolymer. So you can see through them, these fit right around that rose, these fit around the rose, these little berries, they fit all in there exactly where they need to be. And then this one is red rubber, and you get both in here. And this is the outline image, and we just find that with um, the photopolymer works better. This is one of those, oh, what do they call that? That it looks real life. The photopolymer rubber works better for that, and that's the clear rubber. The red rubber works better for other images. So we've actually got red and photopolymer with these beautiful images. And again, this is called Christmas Time is Here. It's our big promotion. It just started November 1st. So I'm going to be using Mossy Meadow. Oh, and I need, hang on. Oh, shoot. Hang on, I gotta grab Early Espresso. Early Espresso, where are you? Here's an old one. 
I think my new ink pad is still packed up from the stamp camp, so I've got an old one here. We're going to be using Early Espresso, Cherry Cobbler, and Mossy Meadow. Now, here are the framelits or dies that go with this particular bundle of product. And I messed this up because I don't know how to get it back in there, but I didn't follow my own rules. So these are all the dies, and look at this intricate, these intricate patterns here. I do have one of these. Here it is right here. Look at how pretty that is. You get two of those in here, so you can die cut both of them. Let me see if I can get my light in here a little better. There we go. These are so, so pretty. And, whoops, that doesn't go in there. What am I thinking? Here is an entire sheet of all the different dies in that set. So you can see exactly what you're getting. Now, cool thing here, this, this die cuts the rows. You can stamp the rows, okay? Or you can use the designer series paper. Yeah, so the framelit, or the die, fits the rows on this paper. And isn't this gorgeous? So I'm gonna show you all of this paper. Here's one of the sheets and then here's the back. The other thing that I really really like about this stamp set whole suite is this doesn't need to be about Christmas at all. You can make birthday cards, you can make get well cards, you can make all kinds of cards with this not just Christmas. So I love it when a stamp set has multi-functions. Look at how pretty that is. So you get four sheets of each in here, and this is called Christmas Time is Here Specialty Designer Series Paper. And can you see the gold? It's gold foil embossed. Yeah, really, really pretty. Here's some, oh, this is the same sheet. Um, <laughs> hang on. These little dots and the outline on the roses are gold foil. There we go. There it's tilting in the light just right. Somebody sees the antlers. Jenny, I missed something. What do you see? Where are you seeing antlers? So, and then we've got this beautiful paper, and this has got that gold foil in it too. Okay, so let me set this stuff aside. I'm gonna move this out of the way here. And we are going to now a few weeks ago I showed you how to make a gift bag. And I am going to do that again because my streaming that night was horrible. We're going to make a whole di we're going to make a different gift bag with different designer series paper and we're also going to be making a card to match. So that'll be fun. So while this is kind of the same project it's different. Does that make sense? So I chose this pattern of designer series paper and to do this you need two sheets of 12 by 12. And I'm, this is the new paper cutter, you guys. This is available. It's only $24. If you need a new paper cutter, I love this one. It's got the arm that slides out. Both of these get out of your way so you can do 12, whoops, 12 by 12 paper. Okay, both the scoring blade and the cutting blade will move out of your way. And I need to look and see, am I too close now that you guys aren't going to be able to see what I'm doing? I think I'm okay. Let me get some of this stuff out of the way. Here we go. Okay, so first piece of paper is 12 by 12. And I am going to take this and score it at one inch on one side and three inches on all the other sides. So I want my pattern to go like this. So this is the one I'm gonna do one inches on. One inch, I should say, not one inches. So I'm gonna score this at one inch, okay? Now all the other sides are gonna get scored at three inches. So I'm gonna bring that in here, score at three. Three. And three. So all four sides are scored. Now, set this aside. The other piece I'm going to bring in, and this one you need to cut 12 by 8. <clears throat> so I need to think about this for a second. Give me just a second here. And I am going to 
nope, I need to cut it this way. So my, de my design again is going up and down. So let me show you this. My one inch side is here. And now here's this pattern going the same way, not this way. So if you have a definite pattern, be mindful of that. I'm going to take this and cut it at eight inches with my design going the same way as my one inch score line. Does that make sense? I, it's kind of confusing. Let me make sure I have it at eight inches. There we go. Okay. And then we're going to score at one inch on three sides. So the top, this side, and the other side, here, here, and here. Okay, and then this side is gonna get, whoops, this side is gonna get the three inches. And once you do one of these, I always recommend that you do it on a scrap piece of 12 by 12 paper, one that you is old, you don't like, whatever. Do it on that so that um, you can get the feel for this before you bring out your delicious paper, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, the other thing we're going to do before we go any further, this little piece that we cut off, we're going to take this and we're going to cut this down to... 10 and a half. So this is four inches. We're going to cut it four inches wide. We're going to cut it down to 10 and a half. And I'm going to take this piece. This is now one and a half. I'm going to cut this at three quarters. Yeah, I really like this paper cutter, you guys. And these I can use on the inside of my cards, right? Okay, let's get this out of the way. And I'm going to bring in, well, I don't know if I'll need that yet. So this piece right here is going to be our card. And I'm going to deal with this a little bit later. This is our gift bag. So I am going to, and I see that I pushed a little too hard right here when I was scoring. And I felt it when I did it too. So I'm just going to put a little piece of tape on that. That could be on the wrong side, and it is. I'll cover that up, so don't worry about that. But now we're going to fold and burnish all of these score lines. Let's get this out of the way. Okay, what are you guys drinking tonight? Oh, good. Karen says she made this bag in the card the last time I showed it, and she made a few boo-boos, so she's glad that I'm showing it again. I wondered, you know, it's like, oh, I don't know if I should do that again or not, but yeah. Okay, so here is our gift bag. One side of it. And don't push too hard with your score because I see I just did that right here. But if you do, just put some tape on it. It'll be okay. And I was pushing really hard. I'm used to my old paper cutter yet. You don't have to push that hard with this one. And this is specialty paper. So it's a little, it's, um, it's a little crisper, I guess, is a good way to put it. So you're going to cut on your score lines up to this one. Okay? And then... This is the big piece, and we're going to do the same thing. You want to decide which is going to be your top rim, and I really wanted this bright red to be my top of my bag. So here we go, and then we're going to score, or score. We're going to burnish all the other edges. I should say fold score lines. Yeah. It might take me a bit to get back in my mojo. I'm out of practice. Not that I haven't been stamping, but telling, talking to people as I'm stamping, sometimes that can be tricky. It's hard to like chew gum and rub your belly and all that. Remember that old thing? Yeah. Okay, so again, I'm just coming up from the bottom to that score line that's right here. Okay, now we're going to get our tear and tape out. Remember? You want to wear your tear and tape like a bracelet because you're going to have better control over this whole roll when you do that. So I am going to bring in the smaller of the two pieces and I'm going to put my tear and tape right over here at the edge, uh, the, close to the fold line. And then I want this to be good and sturdy, so I'm going to bring in another strip on the cut edge. Okay, 
And we're going to do the same thing on this other side over here. Uh, I wish I would have. Mm. Okay, I didn't push it down yet. Okay, I want to get it nice and close to the edge. Meh. Yeah, get it right the first time. Tear and tape is not very forgiving, but is the strongest adhesive. You'll love it. All right. I need my take your pick tool. That's what I like to use to peel this off. Yeah, Sharon, if you wear the tear and tape on your wrist, it really does. It's so much easier to control because you have this, you know, and you're like this and then it's rolling away and you have tear and tape all tangled up. But if you wear it on your wrist like this, hold it just like this. I've got my tear and tape coming over the top. You've got a lot more control over it. And that was a tip, whoops, look at, <laughs> that was a tip that I got from a demonstrator, I believe in Australia. So kudos to her. I don't remember her name or I would give her a shout out, but it was a genius idea. All right, now that we have this done, instead of trying to hold this bag up and trying to get this lined up and blah, 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 we have become smarter with this. You're just going to lay your bag flat and get it unstuck from your fingers. And I'm going to bring this in and line this up so that it's even. Again, tear and tape is not forgiving. You get one shot at this and push it down just like that. And there's, voila, right? And then we're gonna peel off this tear and tape. Maybe. Oh, my fingernail didn't wanna grab that. Just throw that piece on the floor, the backing. <laughs> you can clean that up later. <laughs> that seems to be where all mine go. All right, and now you're just going to push this down. I wanna make sure that it's even here. Look at that. Just like that, here is our bag. Now, one thing that I don't like is when my corners, I didn't get that tear and tape all the way up there. So what I like to do is grab my fabulous mini glue dots. Hang on, let me get this under control here. Here comes my mini glue dots. And I don't like this sticking up like this. See what's happening there? So I'm just gonna put a mini glue dot right there. Boom. And here's the other one. Put a mini glue dot right there. Here we go. And now we have to deal with the bottom. So I'm gonna just fold these back so you can see what's going on. We have these little tabs here. Now you could cut them off if you want, but I think they add some stability. Oh, Sharon says she just got her take your pick tool yesterday. You're gonna love it. I love all the little things. I actually usually keep three of them here on my desk, but I think I packed some up for our stamp camp. I still haven't unpacked from that. Like I have food sitting in my hallway. Thank God I don't have a dog or what I had to clean it up. But um, like containers of food are still sitting in my hallway because I could deal with that when I got home. I had to get that kid out. So yeah, real life Kelly problems. <laughs> and I know we're all busy. I'm not the only one that's crazy. Okay, so I just attached that to there. And now I am going to fold this in. I'm gonna put my glue on this one. You always wanna put your glue on the flap that you're gonna put down because what if you put glue way out here on this one but the flap didn't reach all the way? Then you're gonna have a gluey mess. So always put it on that flap. And now we're gonna square this up nicely. I like to use liquid glue on the bottom so I can kind of wiggle it back and forth and square up my box. <gasps> Look at how pretty that is. Oh my gosh, it is beautiful. Okay, next thing we're gonna do, oh, I need to get, hmm, I need to get a piece of cardstock, hang tight. I think I'm gonna grab some Mossy Meadow. While I intended on making a card for you tonight, I wasn't thinking about making this bag, and then I thought, you know, I should really do that again. So I've got a piece of Mossy Meadow here, and I am going to, cut a piece um, five and a half, 
So let me cut this. I didn't have any scraps, so here goes a whole piece, but you know, I'll use it, don't worry. By two and a quarter. Oh, and this could be my next problem. I wasn't thinking. Okay, you guys, whoops, there we go. Two and a quarter by five and a half. I want you all to get your beverage. Um, I have to run and get my punch, it's still packed up. Hang tight. And if you hear anything falling, you'll know that I'm tripping over things. I'll be right back. Oh my gosh, it was so easy. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'm never gonna find it. Okay, classic label punch. Whew, rocking it tonight. Okay. Here we go. We're going to push this all the way into this piece and I'm going to line it up so that the cardstock is right at the edge here. You want to make sure you've got this in there and pushed against that um, back of that punch. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side over here. Okay, and then we've still got a little bit left right there. Now, if you push this in and held it straight, this is going to punch out perfectly. Seamless. Lots of times it's not so seamless, <laughs> but we did good here. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is, hang on, I gotta think about this for a minute. My card is a little different than I was going to show you, so I need to grab some more card stock because, let's see, the espresso. Here we go. Okay, usually I don't cut for you on camera, right? But tonight we are going to have to do a little cutting. Oh, I'm like, where did I put my paper cutter? Don't worry, we're good. I'm gonna cut this at five and a half by four and a quarter. I have two other bags to show you too tonight and cards made with this little technique. Okie dokie. Do you guys hear Kyle? He's meowing again. He wants to go outside and it's not happening, mister. So this little piece that we cut off, we're now going to take it and fold it <clears throat> and burnish that edge. Here we go. We're going to take that and add it to this one. Now, one thing that I did want to do is I got a piece of... Um, our gold foil paper and I kind of wanted to put that behind it so you wouldn't have to do that but if you're gonna do that we need to cut this down a little bit because it needs to be a little bit smaller so if you're just making a regular card you don't have to do this but if you want to put a layer behind it I'm going to cut this down to three and three quarters so I'm just taking a quarter inch off of it and make sure you don't cut your fold edge. I almost did. You want to cut off the end that is not folded. And I'm going to take this down to five folded. So just take a, take a quarter inch off of it. And then it's going to fit on this four by five and a quarter inch gold foil. It isn't that spectacular. Okay. And now we can start gluing things together. Whoops, not yet. Where were those little pieces? Here's the little pieces. I need to see what I'm doing on the inside of this card. I need my whisper white layer. My whisper white layer needs to be a little bit smaller now too. So I'm going to cut this down. So this was three and three quarters. Now we need to go to three and a half. Take a quarter inch off. And then, let's see, this was five. Is that gonna work? Maybe. Let's look. Nope, I need to go a little bit smaller. Four and three quarters. And I'll have all these dimensions for you. So this is three and three quarters. No, three and a half by five. Stop it. Three and a half by four and three quarters. I am so sorry. Three and a half by four and three quarters. That'll make you crazy, right? So we're going to do a little stamping on here. And I'm bringing in the stamp set that goes with this suite. There's some beautiful, beautiful sentiments in here. And again, you could make this a birthday card, a get well card, a sympathy card, anything that you need. 
but we're going to do this as a Christmas card. So I've got my Christmas. I'm going to do that right over here. Okay, that turned out beautiful. And then I want to bring in my Mossy Meadow. And I'm going to do a few pine cones. Yeah, Sharon, the cutter does cut like paper. Our paper trimmer, the new one, I love it. I've been so impressed with it. So Mossy Meadow right here, and I just want that on the corner. Isn't that pretty? Just on the corner right up there. Then I've got a little early espresso here, and I love pine cones, which brings me to another thing. I'm gonna put that in early espresso right there. Isn't that pretty? Um, I have another online kit class coming out using the Peaceful Bows stamp set. And that is a beautiful, beautiful stamp set in the holiday mini catalog. Let me see if I have it opened up here. Um, whoops, Peaceful Bows. I almost grabbed my Stampin' Success magazine. Did you guys know that we get a quarterly magazine when you're a discount shopper? Oh look, I put that right in the glue. <laughs> well, Stamping with Kelly. This beautiful bundle, it comes with these framelits and this stamp set. Now again, this is gonna be a kit class and it's going to be for November. So there's four different cards, two of each. You get a pre-cut card stock pack with all the embellishments and all the goodies. We're also including, um, uh, some linen thread and some metallic pearls and I don't remember what else but all that information will be coming out on my blog soon this is the one that I do with Ashley Pfeiffer out of Canada so you're if you're one of my Canadian followers you can get this kit from her which is great um, it includes a bunch of product and you can add on the stamp set and dies if you would like and get it all in one bundle um, this will be in November the cost for this kit class is going to be $45 and you get a ton of product with it that you'll be able to use for many more cards. But we're going to have a lot of fun with this. I can just see this for masculine cards, get well, um, sympathy again. Like you don't have to make it about Christmas and that's what we're going to try to feature. So, oh, and we're including the, oh, I know what else. The Regals Designer Series Paper Pack. So you'll get um, a half, I think a half a pack of that with the kit. You'll also get one sheet each of silver, gold, champagne, and copper foil sheets. They'll all be six by six, so you will have a ton of product with this kit. So watch for that. Then I have people who will ask me, where can I order that? You can't order it yet. I don't have the blog post up or the buttons made, but I will. And of course, you can find my blog right here, www.astampabove.com. I recommend that you head over there when we're done tonight and subscribe to my blog. And then every time I post something, it'll go right to your email inbox. There's also a place where you can um, sign up for my newsletter, okay? This will be something that I'll send out in my newsletter. And registration for that kit class is only open usually for about a week, so... Um, you have to be kind of on top of things. So I just added that little piece, one of those little pieces that I cut off, I lost the other one already, from the bottom of our designer series paper. I just added it like this, and isn't that pretty? Ah! Oh, look at that. Thank goodness it wasn't the front of our card. I'm just going to put that right in here. Now I could put a layer under this. And I'm thinking, no, nope, I'm not going to. I'm going to leave it. But if you want to, to make that pop a little bit more, put another layer on your inside so that it'll really make it pop. I've cut enough paper for you guys tonight, right? <laughs> like, it's boring when you're watching somebody cut paper. Like, come on, Kelly. Here goes my liquid glue on the back. We're going to put this right on the Oil. Yep, okay, we're okay. If you were going to die cut um, a shape out of here, like you want to do this right now before you glue this down, but I already have one done, so we're going to be okay. We're going to glue this to our gold layer. Now, if you order this suite of products from me, you'll also get a gift. I have, I think, five or six different cards in a PDF file that I can send you as a gift. So you'll have a bunch of other ideas, plus the online class that's going to be coming out this month. So you'll have tons and tons of ideas to go with this. Here we go. 
going to do this. And then we need to decorate up the front. So let me pull these pieces out. I've already taken a piece of this designer series paper and I have used this die from the dies that come with this Christmas set and I've already die cut those. So the one thing I didn't die cut is this. Um, I think what I'm going to do first though is stamp this and get my inks closed up before I destroy my card. Good idea? <laughs> I'm thinking that's a good idea because you guys know I'm really good at that. So I've got Cherry Cobbler ink here and the Merry Christmas. Oh, isn't that pretty? And then I'm going to bring in this little pine cone in Early Espresso and I'm going to put that right there. And now I can close up my ink pads because the rest of this is just going to be assembly. Cindy just got here late. Cindy, don't worry about it. You can always watch the replay to catch what I missed and you'll want to watch the replay because we have a gender reveal tonight on the Facebook Live. <laughs> okay, we are going to take this die and we're gonna die cut these flowers, this whole rose thing out. So let me get my big shot. I'm gonna take off my vest here because I'm starting to get hot. Oh, you know how that goes, right? And let's see if I can get this in here so you can see it. I know I'm pretty close tonight, and that's the problem when I do close up like this. It's it's hard to keep everything in the frame. So this matches this thing perfectly somehow. Hang on. Um Oh, <laughs> it matches this one. Yeah, okay, so get it right, Kelly. We're gonna cut this apart. There we go. And now it matches up perfectly on here. Yep, I still have that in my camera. So here we go, look at how beautifully that lines up with this designer series paper. Okay, where'd my plate go? Did you guys see it? Oh, here it is. It's clear, so I missed it, right? Got to be careful so that doesn't move. And now we're going to die cut. Ah, it's so gorgeous, isn't it? How simple is that? Now, the nice thing about this suite is you can order as many packs of paper as you want. You can order as many rolls of ribbon, as many packs of paper. You can order whatever you want out of here. Um, it's kind of like the Everything is Rosy last year, except we couldn't do that. We only got one pack of paper with the entire suite, and Stampin' Up! actually broke this all up so that we can order as many things as we want with this suite this time. So I'm, I really, really, really like that. Okay, let me find what I'm doing here. So we've got this. I'm going to take this and I'm going to just add it right to the front of my card. And I'm not gonna pop that up on dimensionals because I want my label to be up on dimensionals, my sentiment. And I think, make sure that you, well, it doesn't matter. Nope, I was gonna say, make sure you don't get it beyond the edge of your card, but because this is going on our gift bag, it doesn't really matter. Now, I've got this gold piece here, and what I'm gonna do with this is cut it right in half. If you do order this suite from me, make sure that you add some gold foil paper. You're going to definitely want that because it matches beautifully for all your little embellishments and layers. And it's just called, you can do a search in my online store for gold foil sheets. That's the proper name of it. And I'm just splitting this apart so I can have a little gold border on the outside of this label. Just a peeking out of there, just a little bit. There we go. And then we're gonna put some dimensionals on the back of that. And I need to find them. Here we go. Who is hungry? I'm hungry now. I ate so much food at the gender reveal party that I thought I'd probably never eat again. And now I'm hungry. What did you guys have for supper? Kathleen says gold adds just the right touch and you are so right. 
Um, yeah, so Sally's asking about the blue embossing plate. Okay, that's a great question, and I'm going to cover that. So we're going to take a momentary break. This blue embossing plate is for our new 3D dies. So let's take a peek at that. Or not dies, I'm sorry, embossing folders. So on page 198 in our big catalog, we have the 3D embossing folders, 3D, okay? And all of these in red are 3D, so that means they're the extra thick ones. If you buy any pretty much from this point out, you need, this is your plate that you're going to put on top of it. So you put your cardstock in the embossing folder, you put your embossing folder on the platform, you know, with the tab off or that extra piece off, just like you would any other embossing folder. But you're only going to put one blue plate on top, no plates under your embossing folder. This is a little bit thicker because these embossing folders are a little bit thinner. So what I started doing is, oh my gosh, this is so heavy. These are all of my embossing things. What I started doing is adding a blue sticker to the plates that need to the embossing folders that need the blue plate so that I'll remember, oh yeah, I need to use my blue plate with this one. That's just what I did. You can write on it with a Sharpie. You can do whatever you want. But that was a great question, and that's what the blue plate is for. And again, if you go in the online store and type in 3D plate, it's going to pop right up. So you'll find it. Okay, back to work. Let's get back to business here. That was a good question though, thank you for asking it. I am going to bring in some of this gorgeous, gorgeous shimmer ribbon, and this is gold. It's quarter inch wide, you get 10 yards of it. And I am going to tie that right around my front layer, my, or the front of my card. This right over here. Now you have to be kind of gentle because this is just designer series paper. There's no cardstock layers on this front one, so don't pull it too tight. I've been known to do that when I do something like this. There we go. So we've just got it in a nice little knot here, and now we're going to trim it off. Okay, and then I'm going to bring in my front label. And I'm going to add this right over here. I think I'm going to move this over just a touch. There we go. Again, be careful. Be gentle. Oh my gosh, this is so, so pretty. Is that not just a really pretty card? Ooh, Ginny had veggie pizza. That sounds delicious. Chinese. I haven't had Chinese in forever. Nachos. Linda had cereal for supper. There you go, girlfriend. I used to do that all the time. Nice. So there's our card. Now, we need to get it on our bag. So hang tight. Oh, one other thing I want to do here. We've got these gold enamel glitter dots. These are part of the suite. Brand new product here. And I am going to add a few of these, of course, to my card. They're in, I think, three different sizes here. And you get a ton of them on a card. And again, not just one card. You can get more than one card with this suite. Like, you can order as many of these as you want. I'm just going to go. And doesn't that just add that little extra something to your project? Yeah. Okay, next. We have, where did our, here's our mossy meadow layer, okay? And you're going to attach this. Now, I don't know, but when I saw this box made before, it was attached like this, and I don't like that big part in there. That's, I don't know, that's not working for me. So I'm going to attach it like this. Again, I'm going to use my tear and tape so that it's nice and strong. I don't want this falling off my box under any circumstances. You do not want to put any type of adhesive below where we use that classic label punch. No adhesive down here. We're going to get this on our 
gift bag. I'm going to put this right here on the front. I'm going to kind of tuck it up under here a little bit and center it from side to side. Let go. There we go. Let's see if that's where I want it. I could even move it up a little bit more, but it might be too late. Yep, it's too late. <laughs> game over. As my husband said when he sent his big buck picture last night, game over. There we go. This tucks oops, right in here. And look at how pretty that is. Now, do you guys want to see the other ones I made? Because I can't hardly wait to show you. Yeah, pretty cool, huh? Now, you could put some ribbon around here. Hang on. We could take and tie. Let's do that. Let's just tie a little bow right up here. Oh, you know what? Let me get my bow jig. My friend Denise is gone for the winter, so her husband makes these and sells them. But if you go check out my video on Friday, you will see um, all the details. You can make your own. I'm going to wrap this around three times. Here we go. Up and over and then you just tie it in a single knot right here oh I think this is gonna be spectacular this is just off I'm off, off the cuff here I wasn't planning on doing this but here we go and now I'm gonna spread these apart oh, I would probably make that bow a little bit bigger so I would spread out my nails a little bit more oh I think this is gonna be pretty pretty cool where did my mini glue dots go who sees them? I don't know. Hang on. I lost the mini glue dots. Don't worry. Oh, they're right here, you guys. I'm like, I have lots. <laughs> Never run out of mini glue dots. Okay, so this cute little bow. Oh, you guys, thank you so much. I just looked at my screen. There's all kinds of hearts coming. Kelly McCauley was at the retreat last weekend, and she got to see me make this in a different designer series paper. So I'll show that to you shortly. I'm just going to put my bow right up here at the top. <gasps> that sets it off, doesn't it? Yeah, love. So here's another beautiful gift bag. Now, I want to talk to you about this a little bit because you can make okay so how many pieces of paper come in this pack let me check I think that was says right on here there's 12 so you can make six gift bags with matching cards out of a pack of designer series paper this pack of designer series paper we don't have any of the <laughs> pictures here because my printer just ran out of ink but um the Christmas time is here designer paper is 1450 so you can get six gift bags six cards out of one pack of designer series paper matching cards you can't buy these at the store right and if you break down and do all that math and math is hard so i'm not going to do that right now but that is pretty stinking inexpensive right it's just a little bit more than two dollars a piece for a beautiful card and a gift bag and then you can go and buy some fancy tissue paper. I have white tissue paper in my office. And I'm just going to take this and do one of these deals with it and put that in there. Yeah, gold tissue paper would be really pretty in here too. Look at that beautiful little gift box, gift bag, whatever you want to call it. All right, now I'm going to show you the other ones. I have a ton of them for you because <laughs> you know when you start going on something oh they just fell everything just fell on the floor when you start going with something you just can't stop so this was the original one I made for you a few weeks ago on a Facebook live let me get all this junk out of the way hope I didn't mess up my computer this is the one that I made a few weeks ago here's my card it hangs right on there isn't this pretty this is with the come together suite oh it got a little bent too but yeah there it is. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, next, 
is... Whoops, hang on, things are still falling here. Here comes the next one. This is with the Let It Snow suite of products. Isn't this adorable? Yeah. And here's my little card. And this one I did backwards, right? I put the larger side down here. I like it better this way so that when the card is open, you have that little strip there instead of this great big strip. So lesson learned, right? It's still fine. And look at the cute little sentiment in here. So that's with the Let It Snow suite of products. And then, I know, it just keeps going, you guys. Hang on, this one's stuck. There we go. This is the one that I did for the retreat. Oh, I lost my bow. There was a bow on here, and I don't know where it went, but this has traveled from Iowa. So, But I had a bow right here. Here's the one using the Brightly Gleaming suite of products. What do you guys think? Isn't that cool? I know, these are so fun. So, I have a bag to take. I'm going to put something in this for my mom for Thanksgiving, right? She's our hostess, so I'll put a little gift in here when I go for hunting season and Thanksgiving. I've got this already done. Then I got some Christmas bags ready to roll here for this. And these are substantial. Like, I can put a lot of stuff in here. Three different Christmas boxes ready to rock. I'm ahead of the game. Yay me! <laughs> I'm a last minute shopper for Christmas. So this is pretty exciting for me. I am usually out shopping just a few days before Christmas. And here's why. I find that if I go shopping too early, I can't remember what I got already and I buy way too much stuff. So, yeah. Again, Christmas time is here. I wish I had a better flyer for you, but my printer's out of ink. Um, if you go to my Stampin' Up! store, you're going to find an online ordering button on my blog. So go to my blog, online ordering button, click there. Use this host code if your order's under $150. When you order this suite from me, you're going to get the online class free and the prepaid card stock. Now, what's included in the suite? Watch my blog for that. If you um, want to get this order in right away, email me tonight and I can tell you what's included that you need to order to be able to get the pre-cut cardstock pack as a bonus and the online class for free. You're going to want to have this because they are going to be spectacular projects that I'm going to share with you. Okay, we're going to take a little intermission while I clean this mess up. And pick up the stuff that fell on the floor. Yeah, it happens, right? I'm going to get all this out of here. Let's see. Is there some numbers on here with the entire suite? Yes, the entire suite, if you order the whole thing with this beautiful bracelet. So here we go. Beautiful, beautiful bracelet is $112.50. So, yeah. Yeah. It's, um, it's got a lot of stuff in it. All of these things that you can't see. <laughs> so we have the entire stamp set. Where did that go? Right here. You get the stamp set. You get all of these dies, okay? And they cut out all of these. I don't know if you call these images or what do you call these, you guys? I don't know what to call them. Like, it's not really images. Images are these. Um, you get the bracelet, you get the designer series paper, you get the glitter enamel dots, hang on, I got them right here, glitter enamel dots, and the ribbon in the suite. So, that is a lot of stuff. Now, you can order each of these items individually, you can just order the stamp set and the dies, but that's not going to qualify you for my free online class. So I would probably wait for details on that or email me and I'll tell you exactly what's in it because I forgot to get that information out and I'm sure you guys don't want to wait for it. There we go. All right, I'm just putting all my little tools away so we can get on to the next project. Yes, there's more. Hang tight. Here we go. Here's the blue plate. 
anybody needs that information, the item code 149658, and it's called 3D Embossing Folder Plate. You can just do a search for that, and it'll show up. Here comes our next project. I think this is stinking adorable. What else do I need here? Oh, I need a Memento Black Ink Pad. I don't have that out. We're going to be using the Snowman Season and the Let It Snow Suite. Oh, look at it. I got a lot of dimensionals in here. I wonder why. <laughs> I don't know. Figure that out later. Okay, you guys. Super cute card coming your way. Um, I need a red ink pad. Where is that? Take a drink. Got to grab the red. It wasn't as far as I thought. I thought it was out in the hallway. So we're using Real Red, Coastal Cabana, and Memento. Let me grab one of those. You'd think that after I had a week off, I'd be a little better prepared, right? Well, this is Stamping with Kelly. Remember that. <laughs> We're going to be using the hand-lettered prose dies tonight. And, oh my gosh, I love the quirkiness of these letters. This comes in a whole suite. Um, you can get it with a stamp set that has a bunch of definitions, which are pretty cool. But really quirky. It's got the number symbol and some... Um, Little dots for mathematic equations. Here's some brackets that kind of looks like a mustache. So I see some potential there, right? Quotation marks. It's got all kinds of great stuff in it. But this is a neat um, letter set. It's in our annual catalog. And again, whoops, hang on. Let me get it back in here. It's called Hand Lettered Prose Dies. Okay. Get some of this stuff out of my way. Using the Let It Snow stamp set bundle, we're also going to be using the Winter Knit Embossing Folder. This is um, part of that Let It Snow suite. And here comes our card. All the bits and pieces. Oh, there's my cheat sheet so I can tell you what my dimensions are. Hang on, my crown is falling off. <laughs> we don't want that to happen. Don't lose your crown. Have you guys seen that little bracelet thing that's available? Um, it says something like, um, when you're feeling down or things get rough, remember whose daughter you are and straighten that crown out or something like that. It's really cute. I love it. I sent that to Haley one time because she knows I wear a crown, right? Uh, every, every Sunday night. Oh, maybe I don't need red. Yeah, I don't think I do. <laughs> That's funny. Anyways. Okay. So we have a piece of Whisper White. This is three and a quarter by four and a half. A piece of basic black that is four and five eighths by three and three eighths. And again, all these dimensions will be posted above my Facebook Live when I'm done tonight. So you don't have to write these down if, unless you're going to be doing something right away. Then I have a piece of Pool Party. And this is four and an eighth by five and three eighths. Another little piece here that I'm not sure what I have it for. Hang on, let me look around. I made these cards up a lot earlier. Yeah, and I don't know. Oh, there it is, hang on. <laughs> I'll figure this out for you. Oh yeah, okay. So, um, a little piece. This is three quarters three quarters by five and a half. That's gonna go on the inside. And we're also going to be embossing that. Oh, here it is, look at that. I already did. So I already embossed both of these with the winter knit. I hope you can see that in the light. This winter knit folder, again, this needs that blue embossing plate, the 3D embossing plate. But that folder is beautiful. Marsha's asking if I'm going to have another card challenge soon. Um, could be, Marsha. I will have to think about that. I'll see what I can whip together. I know you guys like that, and I've had so much fun seeing what you're making, too. So that's exciting. Then I have a pool party card base, five and a half by eight and a half. And we're going to fold that in half. Did you guys see? If you're Packer fans, we lost today. That doesn't happen that often. So it was kind of disappointing. I slept through most of the game, but not going to lie, it was worth it. <laughs> 
Um, yeah, because I was pretty tired. Okay, here's our smaller white layer. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take our Memento ink. Hang on, where'd my bin go? Get this over here a little closer so I can reach things. I love this little snowman. Like, he is so stinking adorable. He just makes me happy. So we're going to ink that up, and we're going to stamp him right in the middle of this white layer. Cute, right? And then I'm going to grab my light pool party blends. You guys should have seen my office last night. So I walked around the corner and I have all here. I'll show you. Ready? You're going to get a little bit dizzy. Those are my towers right there. What? It's yelling at me. Sorry. Hang on. Facebook is yelling at me. There we're, we're back. Okay. So I was walking in my room last night. It was me, my mom, Kathy, and Brooke were busy getting out these kit classes. And I ran into my tower and it, it, I tipped it right over. Like the whole thing fell over. All my markers fell all over my desk and all over the floor. Oh my Lord. It was a complete disaster in here. So before I went to bed last night, I got that cleaned up so I wouldn't have to face it this morning. <laughs> Yeah, I, that, I like to do things like that. It's like, just get it done, Kelly. Just get it done. So I did. But yeah, that was a huge disaster. And that's when Jared's parents came over to pick up chairs for the party. And of course, his dad comes walking right in my office. And it was such a disaster. I'm like, oh my gosh, I am so embarrassed. He's like, don't be embarrassed. Creativity is messy. I'm like, well, at least he knows. He's a man and he knows that. So it was kind of cute. Um... I think I had Coastal Cabana out here. This is not. I need pool party. So I'm sorry. I didn't mean to confuse you. We're going to use pool party ink because that's the cardstock. This is pool party, not Coastal Cabana. I think I said that. But just make sure I don't have any ink on here from the, from the stamp camp. And I'm just going to put some of these cute little snowflakes right here and right here. And then I'm going to leave these out so I clean them because if I put them back in there, I might not. Then we're going to, oh, I know. This is um, the inside layer, and we're going to use this for that also. And the let it snow. I'm going to do, oh, I'm going to stand up. I know you guys can hear me better when I stand up, but I'm a lazy stamper, so I sit on my butt. Let it snow, let it snow. Oh, that's cruddy. Hang on. Let it snow. Let it snow. I'm just going to stamp this all across the top. Notice I started in the middle doing this. So it just looks like it just continues on, which is kind of a neat look. Then we're going to take that little piece that I embossed in the winter knit embossing folder. And we're going to add that to our inside layer. You know what? I just thought of something. My mom never messaged me when she got home, and now that makes me a little bit worried because she's pretty good about that. When I get done here tonight, I'm going to have to oh, check with her and make sure she got home okay. We had so much fun today at the party, and then we drove. We went shopping this morning. Then we went out to Kathy Miller's house to take the chairs back that we borrowed, and it was just a fun day with my mom. Yak, 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 and... You know, you can't hardly get a word in edgewise with either one of us because we're both yakety yakking. Yeah. Okay. From the hand lettered prose dies. Okay, so from these, I have die cut the J and the Y. Apparently, I haven't done any stamping today because I'm not all full of ink yet. <laughs> Just dawned on me wow, look how clean my hands are. Yeah, it doesn't happen very often. Okay, and here's the here's the top of the J. So don't lose that cuz it's it's there also. So we're going to take our little layer here. I want to add keep an eye on that for me, okay, you guys? Yeah. Yeah, my mom probably my mom doesn't really nap very much. It's crazy. You know, she's 74 years old and she's got so much energy. Now you guys know where I get it from. But I do love a good nap. But then I stay up to like 3 in the morning. That's what I do. Okay, we're going to take our puff paint. So this is called Snowfall Accents Puff Paint. You need to shake this up really good. And then it's very, very liquidy. What? Hang on. 
it's just watery. So you gotta kind of be careful with it. You don't wanna spill a whole bunch on your card, but I'm barely touching this to my card. And it's coming right out there. I'm just gonna add some little snowballs. And then I'll put a little bit down here on these little snowball rocks or whatever they are. And now I'm just gonna add some. Can you guys see that? Yeah, that's my puff paint. Oh, I need one more right there. There we go, that was a little bigger than I wanted, but yeah, this is really, really thin. And before you use it every time, shake it up. Now I'm gonna bring in my old decrepit heat tool. Oh, and things are gonna fall. My cord is wrapped around a bunch of stuff, so bear with me. Lord. Okay, here we go. And now you're gonna heat this. Don't tip your card stock, because if you do, it will run, right? Because it's kind of very watery. Some people are flashing their thing around all over. I don't do that. I just put it right here. Now, maybe so that you don't blow it away, you might want to do it from underneath. Let's see what happens. I don't know if that'll work or not. We're going to experiment. Oh, yeah, look, it's puffing. Oh, it's burning my paper. <laughs> don't do that. It started smoking. It won't burn from the top, though. I've used it plenty of times. But I think it was taking too much to make the puff paint puff. You see it doing its thing? Isn't that cute? Now, if you find that you didn't get enough puff paint on your project, you can add more. Yeah, I can add some more right now and puff it up again. Cool. Okay, I wanted to add... This is our Let It Snow embellishment kit. And I wanted to add one of these cutie patootie little noses. So you get this beautiful washi tape. You get these cute little snowballs. This would be great for a shaker card. And you get all of these die cut scarves, mittens, and hats in four different colors. We gave these away as door prizes this last weekend at our um, holiday stamp camp. And don't forget, I'm going to show you at the end of this at the end of this video, um, some of the projects that we made. Oh, hang on. Let's see if I can get this up. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna take this little nose and I'm going to put it right on that snowman. Look how funny that is. <laughs> I love that. Okay, it's the little things, you guys, that really make me happy, if you couldn't tell that by now. Yeah. Let me put all these things back before I lose them. So this is our little embellishment kit. And then you have this cute little box when you're done with all the bits and pieces. And cards fit in here. Like this is the perfect size to fit cards in. So you could do up a whole set of cards for somebody, wrap some red ribbon around it, and give it as a gift. It's pretty cute. I also have an online class for this. That reminds me. Um, there are eight different cards in my online class and four, six gift tags. Eight different cards, six gift tags, all in my online class. And again, you can find that on my blog, www.estampabove.com. In the right-hand column is an online classes button. Click on that. It'll show you all my online classes. But yeah, this was a super popular one also. And if you ordered it prior to a particular date, you got a pre-cut cardstock pack with it. Or you could have included it, I should say. You didn't get it. But if you ordered the suite from me, you got the pre-cut cardstock pack. And I do have a couple of those left, but I want to wait for my mailings to get to everybody. And if somebody has a problem again, like someone's mail didn't get to them, then I will have an extra kit to get them out. But So I'll announce when I'm ready to let those extra kits go. So here is our little snowman. And that's really cute all by itself, right? But... We are going to find my missing letters. Did you guys see where they went? Hang on. Ugh, my crown just like fell in my eyes. Here's our card base. Oh, here they are. I'm like, where did they go? We're going to put this over here. Uh, oh, there's my, I'm like, did you guys see where that top to my J went? And we're gonna put this over here. Can you hear Kyle again? He's meowing. He wants to go outside. No, Kyle. We're all done with that horsing around. So I'm spelling joy. That's what I'm doing is spelling joy. Get a little bit of 
glue out here. Oops. There we go. Now with this hand lettered prose dies, you can spell anything you want. I could have done Noel. I could have done snow. You can personalize and make somebody's name, but the little snowman is my O. That was my bright, brilliant idea <laughs> for this card. I was like, oh, this will be really cute. What do you guys think? Yeah, I'll have it done in just a gif here. Now I'm putting on a very thin layer. This remember was five and an eighth by, I'm sorry, four and an eighth by five and three eighths. And then I'm gonna bring in the polka dot tool because I think this always looks cute with snow cards. And let's see how good Kelly can tie a bow. I'm gonna tie a bow way down at the left side of my card. And oh, so far so good, I'm doing pretty good. Here we go. So I think my daughter is gonna have a video coming out pretty soon with all the reactions to their baby news because she videotaped everybody as they were opening up that pack of um, pictures. So I think that'll be kind of fun, right, to have that. I'll share that with you when she releases it or gets it made or whatever. Okay, so here's our cute little bow. Then we're going to add a bunch of dimensionals to the back of this layer. Let me find them again. Oh, I've got a whole bunch right here. I'm like digging through my little bin. You want to make sure that you put enough dimensionals on for such a big layer because this is pretty substantial and I don't want it like flattening out. I want it to continue with its dimension. Oh, um, nope, I'm not going to do that right now. Here we go. And make sure I got the right side. Whoops, make sure I put it right side up. Here comes our cute little, whoops, there we go. Our cute little snowman. Isn't that nose just adorable? Oh, I got it a little crooked. Dang it, I pushed it down good. Hang on. Things like that make me a little crazy. I'm really lax on other things, but stuff like this, not so much. There we go. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Here's the inside. And who said they, Sue just said she forgot she has this ribbon. I know, right? Get it out. It's really great for Christmas snowman -y cards. I should have used the black dimensionals. They're right here. I always forget about them, you guys. We have black dimensionals in our holiday mini catalog. And they're really great on black cardstock, so you don't see the white dimensionals sticking out. So add these to your next order, because they're really cool. Yeah, Lisa says that the um, ribbon looks like little snowballs, and that's why I thought it would be really good with the Let It Snow card. Yeah. Okay, I am going to get this stuff out of the way, so hang tight. Let me move everything. Get this all put out of the way here we go so I have a little bit of room here here we go and did I miss any questions you guys if I missed any questions and nobody answered them for you now is a good time to ask me because um, I will be able to read them in a second. Okay. All the things. <laughs> Lots of things, right? We are so messy, aren't we? I love it. I'm actually going to throw these in my garbage can instead of, instead of winging them on the floor, like I said. I know. Because Steve's gone hunting, I have to vacuum. I should keep it classy, right? <laughs> Yeah, I told you guys, he's not a very good cleaner. I'm not going to lie. He does not clean well. I'm thinking of getting somebody in here to do that because, meh, I don't have time. Okay, I need to share stuff with you. So, I have mail. Oh, I can't show people's addresses. 
let me bring in my cards that I got. I'm also going to share with you my, um, some of my projects from my stamp camp. Okay. Here we go. Okay, so I've got a couple of cute projects here. This skate set is just gorgeous, isn't it? This is um, die cut out of the, what do they call that? Dazzling uh, shimmer glimmer paper. So, so pretty. And this is our winter, no, feels like frost designer series paper with a little bit of champagne foil paper layer under there. Balmy blue and night of navy. Look at how cool that is. This is Kathy Miller's card. Yeah, we put some rhinestones on there. So everybody at the stamp camp got to make this. Yeah, pretty. Then here's another project. You guys remember the nugget boxes that we made one day, right? And here's one with the Come Together Suite. This would make a sweet little hostess gift if you're going someplace for Thanksgiving or the fall. Or a great gift for a coworker, neighbor. And this is the one using the wrapped in plaid, which is another beautiful suite in the holiday mini catalog. It uses the curly red ribbon, the tree punch, and look at that. Isn't that fun? So all of the people at the stamp camp got to um, use or make one of these. And Haley says she just posted her cute professional pictures. There's some great ones with you in them. Oh, cool. That's cool. Okay, so that was a, just a couple of our stamp camp things. Um, let's see, what else do I have to share with you? Oh, I know, I've got this stuff over here. If you guys missed this, this was that puff paint that we just used on our little snowman to make the snow, okay? This is puff paint with the Country Home stamp set and it's on cotton. So this one I stamped in black, this one I stamped in Blackberry Bliss, and you can see that this cotton has kind of a bled in a little bit of pink into it, and this is, of course, you know, white. But this is another thing that you can do with the puff paint, and isn't that, I love this card. Matching envelopes, of course, beautiful. I just wanted to, in case you missed that, all of these projects and video tutorials are on my blog from last week. And then we have these beauties. Oh my gosh, I had so much fun making these. Again, this is the Feels Like Frost Designer Series Paper and the Itty Bitty Christmas Bundle. So these are um, these were a tutorial that I did on November 1st and I just used a little, this is the other side. So this is the Feels Like Frost Paper. This is the other side of the Feels Like Frost paper, and that's what I use to cut out my snowflakes in here with the Itty Bitty Christmas. Aren't these pretty? Use that rectangle um, stitch dies to cut out that window, and also the rectangle stitch dies to cut out this layer. So fun. Then we had Paper Pumpkin. Oh my gosh, let me get the one that Stampin' Up! designed. This is the Paper Pumpkin card. And these came with foil lined envelopes, but look at the inside. The inside has the designer paper that matches this element. And so this is a paper pumpkin kit card. There were, I think, eight cards in there with all of these die cut images. You stamp the greeting and add all of these to your cards. So that was pretty cool. I loved this called Winter Woods. Here's some alternate ideas that I came up with. I used our shimmery white embossing powder. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but it's all glittery for the snowflakes and some red rhinestones on my trees. Here comes another one. This is another alternate idea that I made. I used the birch in the background with that same embossing powder I used here, the shimmery white embossing powder. Yeah, so that was really fun. And then, of course, I stamped up my envelopes to match. So, paper pumpkin kits, you guys, are so much fun. You'll find an ordering button so you can subscribe to Paper Pumpkin on the right-hand side of my blog, blog address right here. Okay, more things to share with you. 
Here are the cards that I've gotten in the last couple weeks. And of course, this is from Sharon Jones. She sent me a paper pumpkin card wishing me and Steve a very Merry Christmas. So thank you, Sharon. She added some rhinestones to her. Oops, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have your address on there. To her um, banner. Whoopsie doopsie. Let's keep those envelopes out of the camera, right? Here was a Halloween card I got from Jeannie Combs. Comus. And how super cute is that? This is with the paper pumpkin kit. And then, oh, this is such a pretty card from Cindy Kittner. She was thanking her for the holiday rhinestones that she won. This uses one of our designer series paper patterns. Um, I can't remember what it's called, but it's pretty. Then we have another really cute Halloween card from Elaine Reback. And Elaine left it blank so I can use it. And I'm going to put this in my stash for next year because I love to send these out. So, and Elaine won an embossing folder, so she was thanking me for that. Then I received a handmade thank you card from Jessica Bloor, and she was really excited to be coming to my stamp camp. And Jessica, thank you. This is so cute. You did a great job. Jessica's a fairly new stamper with me. Then Sharon Jones sent this card, and this was her alternate idea. And she took one of the snowmen from the um, Let It Snow designer series paper and cut that out and put it on the trees. So that was really pretty. Here comes, oh, this was from, hang on a second. This is from one of my customers, Kathy Sheldon. And she used the um, bottle stamp set. And this is a retired stamp set. Her son or her niece's husband has a brewery. He makes Crystal Waters beer. And so this was a Christmas card for them. And she just wanted me to see what she did with the beer bottles. I thought that was really nifty. Here comes another one. Whoops. This, oh, this is from my mom. And I thought, oh, this is a beautiful card. Of course it is because I made it and designed it. <laughs> I always give my mom cards for gifts. And she wanted to thank me. She says... Kelly, words can't really express my gratitude for our trip. It was absolutely marvelous. You warmed my heart. Oh my goodness, Mom. You're so beautiful and well put together in everything you do. I'm so proud of the woman you are. God has blessed me with you. Love, Mom. Is that, I'm getting like a little choked up. Is that not the sweetest? So if you guys missed it, I took my mom and my sister on a trip to Kansas to visit my dad's um, sister, so my aunt. And that's what my mom is thanking me for. So if mom's watching, thanks mom. <laughs> and then I got this from fellow demonstrator. Remember I said I was going down to Chicago to do a little demonstrator training with some fellow demonstrators. Well, it wasn't really Chicago. It was Edgerton, Wisconsin. Here's a funny little story. I told my friend Dina that, like, I thought I was going to Chicago, but Edgerton is by Beloit. It's not by Chicago. And Dina's like, why am I not surprised that you didn't know where you were going? <laughs> That's such a Kelly move. So I just put it in my GPS and drove there. Um, anyways, Peggy and Tina sent me this card. And she said, thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Your generous spirit and your fun attitude makes such a special person. We've already started on our to-do list. So they wanted some technology training. So I went down and spent the day with them and um, taught them some technology stuff for their stamping business. They sent me an Amazon gift card, you guys. I'm excited. There's a shelf on Amazon that I want for my bathroom, and it's like black pipes and then old barn wood, and it's kind of pricey, so I haven't bought it because I'm like, oh, that's a lot of money for that shelf. I might get it now because I have an Amazon gift card, so that was really cool. And then, let's see, what else do I have here? Um, this is a thank you card from my cousin Kathy. Remember the framed art that I did for the Facebook Live before I went to Kansas? Using the Come Together, well, she sent me a really nice card thanking me for making the trip possible. It meant to the world to her mom. It was so good to see all of us, and she loves the fall shadow box that I made. She's got it hanging up already. So that was cool. That was from my cousin. Then I got another card from Luba, and Luba's from Rochester, New York. And isn't this fun with all the washi tape and the strips of um, that orange shimmer paper? Happy Halloween. Ooh, spooky. That was really cool. 
and another card from Carla Schultz. And Carla was actually sending me a, a check for her Brightly Gleaming kit class. So there are some of you out there that do not use PayPal, and that's okay. If you want to order one of my online classes or you want to order one of my kit classes, contact me via email, kelly at stampabove.com. I would be happy to arrange all that with you and you can mail me a check. That's fine. I understand. But this was from Carla Schultz. She said they had some problems. Her husband shut down their um, PayPal account because they were having, I don't know, some problems with PayPal. Uh, I don't know. I've never had any problems with PayPal. But Carla sent me a check in this and I thought this was so, so pretty. I loved this stamp set. Okay. Those were the cards that I received. Then I've got just a few more here that I didn't get a chance to open yet. This is from Trudy Hudson. Oh, isn't that pretty? She stamped right over the brick background. That's really cool. It says, thank you very much. Oh, look at that little owl in there. That's adorable. And um, I will read the inside later, Trudy, but thank you so much. That's so very pretty. I've got another one here. Oh, this is not, this is not... This is a card. Here we go. Those other things were um, some other things I got in the mail, so I need to address those later. Here we go. Now, here's just a little piece of packing to put over things like this. And look at that. She's got a real sucker stick in here. Look at that cute spider. And a bunch of circles punched out. And this is from Chris Jensen. Chris is from Golden, Colorado. Have a spooktacular Halloween. And I love that, Chris. That's just adorable. Trick or treat, smell my feet, give me something good to eat. <laughs> Cute. Then I have another one here from Linda Bronx. Let me get this open right away. Ooh, pretty envelope. Ooh, I love the pheasants. Gorgeous. And she got the pheasant stamp set. She won this, so she sent me a card made with it. Those are gorgeous. Thank you so much, Linda. And she's thanking me for the stamp set. Okay, so Atchison and Atchison are pronounced the same but have different spelling. Atch oh, yeah, right. She's right about that. So thank you so much, Linda. This is beautiful. I love it. And again, she wrote on Post-it notes so I can use the card. So that's really cool. I appreciate that. Then, I do not know what's in here. This is a little dangerous opening, opening things right on camera. I don't usually do that, but I got this from Kim Laguerre, and I am going to open it up, and we're going to find out what is in here. What is in the magic box? Because it looks pretty cool. So... Oh, her coloring is beautiful. Ready? Let's see. What? How do I get it open? Um, hmm, uh, I think I have to do this. I'm not sure. So sometimes you have to be smarter than the project. So hang with me, you guys. Let's see what we got going on here. <gasps> Just a note to thank you for a few things. Oh my gosh, I will read this to you later. Um, this, oh, this is Young Living Christmas Spirit. So you guys, let me show you what I got. I got a USB port for my computer, and this holds some essential oils or Young Living oils or, um, I got the citrus ones because they're good for energy. And you just plug this in, and it puts out a little puff. So she sent me the Christmas Spirit. You are so sweet. I know these are pretty expensive. She says the smell is heavenly. A wonderful essential oil blend to use with the necklace. Oh, and Terry gave me the necklace. My, hang on. Terry gave me this necklace that has this little like charcoal ball thing in it that you can put these oils in it. Now, I have to tell you, my mom has hers hanging in her car, Terry, so you would be very thrilled. Isn't that cute? But I'm getting my, I'm, and I said today when we were driving her car around, I said, Where's mine like that? It was still in the owl mug. So I'm going to put this on my desk so I don't forget. This is so sweet. How absolutely wonderful is that? And look at how she made the little holder. So this one's a little smaller than this one. 
so that it would fit right in there and it would hold it up. This is genius. Yes? Okay. Oh, you guys, I think that's it. What time is it? Oh, it's 8.50. I've kept you way too long. I'm so sorry. I was so excited to be back with you again. Let me flip this phone around. We can talk. We can talk face to face, right? Yep, here we go. Sorry, I forgot to say you're, if you get sick. Okay, um, I had to take my crown off because it fell in my eyes. There we go. <laughs> Yucky business. So, yeah, that's why I'm so energetic because I have the citrus in this thing. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. So, here are the cards we made tonight. We made this cute little snowman card. Absolutely adorable. I thank you so much, you guys, for sticking with me. I had a lot of stuff to show you. I hope I didn't forget anything. And then here is the gift bag that we made tonight. And I will post. I've got uh, instructions here someplace. I'll post those also for you again. So, yeah. Somebody just said don't ever something. I don't know. <laughs> I'll, I'll see it in a minute. Hang on. i got to read that because it's going to bug me. Don't ever be sorry for keeping us. Oh, thank you, Gilmore. You're so sweet. But, yeah, some pretty pretty neat projects tonight. I hope you enjoyed them. Again, um, if you're watching on Facebook, please share. You can share this video. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to leave a comment because when you comment, you get entered to win prizes. Comment, share, and placing orders with me. And um, you can place an order in my online store. You'll find it on my blog. Whoops, I'm not mirrored anymore, Kelly. Let's get it together. Here's my blog address, www.sampabub.com. Here is my monthly host code. Whoops, right here. I'm backwards, so it's tricky. Right here's my monthly host code. If your order is under $150, don't use the code. You'll get benefits from... No, let's start over. If your order is under $150, use the code. If it's over $150, don't use the code. You will get rewards from Stampin' Up. I definitely want you to have those. And you're going to find an online ordering button in the right-hand column on my blog. You'll also find this current host code is always there on my blog. So easy, easy peasy. And I wish I could remember who won. I do a monthly drawing. When you use that code, I do a drawing and you win a um, whatever, a stamp set of your choice usually. And I'm trying to remember who won this last one. I know she was super excited. I can remember the conversation with her. And let's see. Shelly, and I think you say her last name, Boudot of Greenfield, Wisconsin, was our last winner. So, yay! So I do a drawing every month when you use the code. And um, the code is what helps me get all of these things that I can be giving away to you. So it is very useful. And if your order is under $150, use the code. If it's over $150, you still get entered in the drawing because, of course, why wouldn't I? But um, you'll get your own rewards, and I want you to have those rewards. I, I get a lot of rewards, so you have your rewards if you're putting an order in over that much. Remember also, if you're on YouTube, please share my video. Give me a thumbs up. Um, I work really hard to bring you guys free videos, and these are the little things that you can do to help me out. And I really, really appreciate them. Don't give me any thumbs down. Nobody deserves that. Um, it's kind of funny, but... I get a thumbs down once in a while and I'm like, really? Really, I just gave you a free video, but yet you're like giving me a thumbs down? Like, who does that? Nobody that I'm friends with. <laughs> we don't do that to each other. We build each other up. We don't drag each other down. So there's my little tidbit for the week. All right, you guys, what do I have coming up this week? Um, I think I'm going to be like trying to recover. I think I might take a day off. Um, I'm going to call a handyman to get in this house and start painting. I need my laundry room repainted. I bought some stuff to redecorate it, and I wanted a different color. It's, It was cute 20 years ago, but it's over now. You know, it's all yesterday, and I want it refreshed. So, got that going on. Hang on, I'm still in October. Um, my Peaceful Bows kit class will go on my web, on my blog on the 8th of November. So watch for that. That'll have all the details and ordering buttons. You're going to order that kit by the 15th at noon. And I do a noon cutoff date because I need to get my order in to get the supplies here to then cut everything to get it back out to you. So on the 8th is going to be the Peaceful Bows kit class. 
I'll do a video for it showing you the products and a beautiful card, I hope. <laughs> we'll see. And um, that'll be open for a week. So until the 15th, you can order that kit class. Then, um, let's see, we have maybe a blog hop next Sunday. We'll see if I can get that accomplished. I also have on the 15th is when the Christmas time this this suite of products the Christmas time is here I'll have a video for you that class is going to go live on the 15th so maybe I'll do a video earlier that week but the I don't know maybe the 15th that class will go live I am also leaving to go to on stage not this next weekend but the week after we're going to Lansing Michigan so I'm excited about that Stampin up is going to be hosting an event for demonstrators discount shoppers, whoever wants to go, we don't judge, all over the world. So that's going to be really cool. And I get to meet up with my two besties, Dina and Barb, and spend some great time with my team members. We've got um, Christine Bertram put together a whole bus that is coming down from Green Bay and coming right through East Wisconsin, all the way down to, I think, Milwaukee, maybe Chicago, picking up people and taking them to Lansing, Michigan. So they're going to have a blast. And um, I think that's about it for this week. Like I said, I'm going to maybe try. It's pretty wide open. If I can get my um, stuff done tomorrow, then I'll pack up a bunch of stuff and go to my mom's house where I can go bow hunting because I really need to do that. And I can say I'm not looking forward to the cold weather. I'm going to have to get out the electric. I have a battery operated or battery heated jacket that my husband bought me. And I'll be getting that bugger out because it is cold here. Oh my Lord. We had snow on Halloween, snow on the Monday before, and it's freezing. So enough about my personal problems. All right, you guys, I'm going to let you go for the night. I have to pee. That may be too much information, but it's the truth. I've been out here for quite a while. You guys have yourselves a wonderful week. I can't wait to see you again. I will have a video, tip video coming out Wednesday. And also um, the Peaceful Bows kit class is going to be announced and released on Friday the 8th. So watch for that. You're going to love it. Okay, you guys have a great week. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Maybe. There we go.